Hey there, space explorers! Welcome to All About Mars Surface, the place where Mars isn't just a planet, it's a silent mystery that's been watching us for billions of years. In today's episode, we're diving into a discovery that shook scientists to their core. No water, no signs of life, but something far more mysterious. Rocks that whisper the untold history of an alien world. These aren't just stones. They're Martian secrets, written in layers and locked in time. Each crack, each shimmer tells a story millions of years old. So watch till the very end, because what you're about to learn today might just change everything you thought you knew about Mars. Let's begin and dive deep into the newly discovered Martian rocks. And hey, if you love exploring the unknown, don't forget to like this video subscribe to All About Mars Surface, and share it with your fellow space dreamers. Together, let's keep reaching for the stars. In February of 2024, NASA's Perseverance rover, or Percy to his friends, touched down on the rugged surface of the Jezero Crater, a site once chosen for its rich geological diversity. The area is now famous not for signs of ancient water, but for the discovery of uniquely layered Martian rocks that tell a complex story of volcanic activity, mineral transformation, and the slow reshaping of the Martian crust over billions of years. These formations are rich in silica and magnesium-bearing minerals, often formed through thermal and chemical alteration deep beneath the planet's surface. Percy has been sent to hunt for traces of ancient environmental changes locked within these rocks. And if there's a place to uncover Mars's hidden geological history, Jezero Crater is the perfect candidate. You see, certain Martian minerals like olivine and serpentine can record the planet's internal heat and chemical evolution, offering scientists vital clues about how Mars cooled, solidified, and became the world we see today. Geologists on Earth study similar rock types in volcanic deserts and impact zones to understand planetary evolution. The rover's job is to look for these possible signs of geological transformation, identify and store the most scientifically valuable samples, and prepare them to be collected by another space mission for an eventual return to Earth. One day in July 2024, while exploring the edges of the ancient Nuretva Vallis Channel, Percy's cameras spotted something extraordinary, a rock from the Bright Angel Formation that didn't match the surrounding terrain. Two of the rover's instruments, the Planetary Instrument for X-ray Lithochemistry, Pixel, and the Scanning Habitable Environments with Raman and Luminescence for Organics and Chemicals, Sherlock, detected finely layered sedimentary rocks containing complex mineral bands. On Earth, these minerals can preserve microscopic traces of chemical reactions from deep time. So, Percy took a closer look, and what he found was nothing short of amazing. The rock, also known as Chayava Falls, turned out to be rich in complex mineral compounds like carbonates, phosphates, and iron oxides, arranged in intricate circular patterns. Affectionately named leopard spots and poppy seeds, these tiny markings range from 200 micrometers to 1 millimeter in diameter, small enough to escape the naked eye, yet large enough to ignite scientific excitement around the world. The light inner part of each leopard spot is chemically similar to the surrounding rock, while the dark outer rim is enriched with iron and magnesium, suggesting a long process of oxidation and mineral layering deep within Mars's crust. Such textural variations indicate that this rock underwent multiple geological phases, shaped by volcanic heat, pressure, and chemical reactions, a sign that Mars's interior has been far more dynamic than we once thought. Percy also detected carbon-bearing minerals within the rock, hinting at complex chemical evolution 
rather than biological activity. Based on its texture and geochemical composition, scientists now believe this specimen may have been part of an ancient hydrothermal system, where hot, mineral-rich fluids once circulated through fractures in the Martian bedrock. On Earth, similar environments create rare crystals and metallic bands that preserve the planet's volcanic past. Suddenly, NASA had something remarkable. Not the proof of alien life, but a window into Mars' deep geological engine, showing how heat, pressure, and chemistry sculpted this alien world. At the center of this discovery are two fascinating minerals, vivianite and gregite. Vivianite is an iron phosphate that often forms near metal-rich zones or areas of chemical alteration. On Mars, it may have formed when iron and phosphate compounds interacted under extreme conditions, possibly during a volcanic or impact-driven event. Gregite, on the other hand, is an iron sulfide mineral that records changes in magnetic and thermal history. These minerals together act as natural time capsules, preserving the story of how Mars transformed from a fiery young planet into the cold, rocky world we explore today. When the expelled iron, too, reacts with phosphate compounds under specific thermal and chemical conditions, it forms vivianite, a mineral that shines with a pale blue hue when freshly exposed. Gregite, meanwhile, tells a similar but equally mysterious story. On Mars, its presence suggests that iron and sulfur once interacted through purely geochemical reactions rather than biological ones. But let's stay skeptical for a moment. If no microbes were involved, then what else could have triggered these reduction reactions? One leading explanation points toward intense heat and pressure deep within Mars's crust. The sulfide necessary to form gregite may have originated from volcanic gases released during ancient eruptions. These gases could have seeped into fractured rock layers, reacting with available iron and sulfur minerals as they cooled. However, this process would require a delicate balance, sulfides migrating from a high-temperature volcanic zone into a cooler, stable environment where minerals could crystallize. So far, there's little direct evidence of such a continuous volcanic hydrothermal link in the Jezero region. Another theory proposes that chemical reduction occurred through rock-to-rock -rock interactions, without the need for biological or hydrothermal activity. Certain Martian rocks contain oxidized sulfur and iron that under the right energy conditions can exchange electrons, a slow but steady process that leads to the formation of minerals like gregite 